We are so excited to have our student athletes return to campus. This video will be highlighting the check-in procedures as well as go over safety measures that are in place while attending conditioning practice at Hilo High School. We understand that the specifics in this video may change over time. So to see the most up-to-date version of our return to sport conditioning procedures, please visit the website at hilohigh.org and click on athletics under the students in the navigation bar. Let's get started. Athletes will be assigned a day and group session based upon their sport. Prior to arriving at Hilo High School, athletes will need to complete an online wellness check at home via Google Form. The form asks the information such as personal contact details, athlete sports, an assigned day slash group number, and symptom checklist. If any of the symptoms on the checklist are marked as positive or if the athlete is feeling unwell, they should remain at home. Athletes will be required to bring their own personal equipment, such as a mask, water bottle, towel, to every conditioning practice. Sharing of any personal equipment with others is not allowed. Disinfecting supplies will be provided once the athletes are in the weight room. The designated drop-off point for arriving athletes is along the Hilo High School bus ramp. Parents may park in the parking lot while the athlete is being checked in. Parents are not allowed to leave their vehicle and may not watch the athletes during their conditioning practice or any on-campus activity. Students who drive to conditioning on their own may park then walk into the check-in table. A certified athletic trainer or Hilo High School staff member will be waiting to check in each athlete and take their temperature. Each athlete will be need to be assessed and cleared by a staff member before continuing to their conditioning practice. Athletes may only attend their designated conditioning day and assigned group sessions. Anyone not scheduled will be sent home. Parents will be required to remain until their athlete is checked in. Any change in symptoms, increase in temperature, or failed visual assessment will require the athlete to be sent home. Athletes may be cleared to resume conditioning practices with one of the three methods. A negative COVID test, a 10-day quarantine period, or a doctor's note after being asymptomatic for at least 24 hours. Arriving athletes will take the sidewalk to the right, walking by the C building classrooms toward the weight room. Departing athletes will be walking alongside the R building, returning to the front of the library to be picked up. Athletes will need to remain on the designated route to avoid congestion and maintaining physical distancing. Upon arriving at the weight room, athletes that will then sit six feet apart on the benches in the front of the weight room and wait to be called in for the conditioning practice. While waiting, masks are to be worn at all times. After the conditioning practice is over, departing athletes will be exiting from a separate set of doors at the front of the building. Each group will be 90 minutes total, 15 minutes to check in and clear each athlete upon arrival, one hour for each group conditioning practice, and 15 minutes to disinfect clean and reorganize before the next group's arrival. A group session will consist of no more than 14 athletes total. The capacity has been assessed based upon the square footage of the weight room. During conditioning practice, squat racks and exercise stations will be six feet apart. Masks should be worn between sets when athletes are not conducting high intensity movements. If an athlete becomes unwell or begins to display COVID symptoms during a conditioning practice, the athlete will be removed from the weight room. The symptomatic athlete will be moved to an open air bench under the breezeway connecting C buildings. An athletic trainer or Hilo High athletic staff member will be notified and the athlete's parents will be contacted. All athletes in that group that were exposed to the infected athlete will also then need to be cleared with a negative COVID test, doctor's note, or 10 day quarantine period prior to returning to conditioning sessions. When the conditioning practice is complete, athletes will depart and follow the sidewalk along our building to the front of the library. Parents need to be prompt when picking up athletes. Loitering is not allowed. Athletes are not permitted into the patio or anywhere else on campus other than the benches in the front of the library while waiting to be picked up. In between each conditioning practice, the weight room will be disinfected using solutions and foggers. During this process, athletes are not allowed to remain in the weight room. Thank you for watching this video. By following these guidelines and procedures, we can ensure a safe environment 
for all of our student athletes. As the guidelines are updated, please continue to check back at the athletics page on our website, helohigh.org, for the most updated information.